and welcome back hope if you're new to my channel please do make sure that you subscribe and join my youtube family because it's absolutely free and if you're a returning subscriber you know how much i appreciate your support like i love you so much and please do continue to support me like by liking commenting and sharing without wasting any time as you've seen by the title of my video i'm going to be talking about the things you need to move to university res or college I'm not sure if it applies if you're moving to an apartment, but like I think some of the things will apply. So, most people have already gone back to uni and others haven't. But if you've gone back already, you can still buy those things wherever you are. I'm sure there are stores, like obviously, so you can buy those things. I know university can be so daunting, and some of you may be anxious, not knowing what to expect, but I do believe that everyone will be okay you will definitely find your feet first thing you need is a suitcase obviously to pack your clothes and you know all those things one thing i want to tell you is that please do make sure that you do not take everything because when you come back home like mid recess you're gonna struggle you're gonna struggle when you have to go back home you're gonna struggle so please do make sure that maybe pack by seasons let's say this time you take all your summer clothes and when you go back home during recess you take okay you come back with a few jackets because obviously in winter we layer our clothes so yeah you know what i mean okay <laughs> yeah i'll be looking down here because i wrote everything here second thing is a laundry bag to pack your dirty clothes you know sort everything third thing you need pillows obviously to balance your head when you sleep you need hangers to hang your clothes I know most universities provide wardrobes. Um, yeah, I think, and also a bed. So they do provide wardrobe, a bed. Universities differ. So please do make sure that you inquire with your university first to find out what you are given already. So you also need a, 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 a bedding. You need bedding, obviously, to sleep on. So all those sheets, your pillow covers, you know, make sure that you buy a bedding set. You need a mirror to look at yourself. Like for status, you can get a small mirror to at least, you know, check yourself before you go to school. Because you don't want to go to your class with Colgate or, you know, having things that you can't even see. So please do make sure that you get a mirror to look at yourself, you know, to get ready. Please do make sure that you get storage containers. It'll help. Like now you won't know what to use them for, but like I'm telling you, after packing everything, you'll definitely know what to use them for. So storage containers. I know Pep Home has those where you can um, pack your sugar, your spaghetti, macaroni, you know, all those things, Kellogg's. So I know Pep Home, definitely, if you need a lot of things, you can go there. You will need an extension and a twin plug, like believe me, you will need those. You also need an iron to iron your clothes. The guys, it's load shedding. Can you please normalize creased clothes? Creased, creased clothes. Okay. So you will need a iron definitely to iron your clothes and also an ironing board. It's not necessary, but like if you can, you can get an ironing board. If you don't have it, you can iron on your bed. So yeah. You also need a study lamp because most times you'll be studying at night. So you can use a study lamp to see clearly at night. You can also get yourself some pins because I know most university races, they provide those boards where you can use your pins to put on important papers, you know. Uh, you can print, print your exam dates and then put them there and use those, those pins so that every day when you wake up, you can look at them. You'll need an alarm. It's it's not important, but like <laughs> some people cannot hear their phones. So I know if you get an alarm, I know alarms are very loud, so you can get there or use the alarm on your phone. You will need packs. You will need packs to hang your clothes when they are after washing your clothes. You need packs, so please do make sure that you buy packs. I know most dresses they provide um, uh, washing machines. So you need packs to dry your clothes and also make sure that you do come with a, 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 a how do they call this? A washing soap. Please do make sure that you come with a washing soap to be able to wash your clothes. So you need an eight sleeper to cut your nails because, you know, 
you can have, have those long, 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 long nails. Because I know maintaining nails is kind of hard. So you might make sure that if you cannot maintain your nails, you have a nail clipper. You need it in the set, you know, cutlery. Because what are you going to use to eat? So please do make sure that you get yourself a nice cutlery set. I know that Pep Home, guys, Pep Home, the surprise home can be a bit pricey, but like I know Pep Home is very affordable. So you can check Mr. Price Home, Cotton On Home, and Pep Home. Yeah. Also, Otagadi Fatu, cool, because when you wash your dishes, so yeah, make sure that you buy those dishcloths. You also need a few scuff tins, you know, containers, Tupperware. Because I don't know, some people cook every day, but I, I personally I don't cook every day. So I do need a lot of Tupperware or like containers to store my food. I left over food that I'll eat the next day. I can advise you to invest in a few Tupperware because Tupperware is very good, guys. It is very good. Hua Fisa is very hot. You can get yourself a kettle, you know, to boil water, to make tea or coffee. You can get a fridge. I know most dresses, they don't, have, they don't provide fridges, so you can get yourself a small fridge, you know. Yep. I know fridges can be expensive. You can check, you know, for secondhand fridges. You can also get yourself a micro oven to warm up your food. Micro oven, microwave. Guys, leave it up. Please do comment below. Is it microwave or micro oven? <laughs> You also need a mop and a broom to clean your room. You need an umbrella because some days it can really get hot or some days the rain. You don't want the rain stopping you from going to class so please do make sure that you get an umbrella. You need a heater or a fan and a fan actually. A heater and a fan is not a necessity but like if you feel like you cannot stand the heat or the cold, please get yourself both. You need a school bag, so get yourself some cute bag that you can go to school with that'll fit your laptop and everything. You also need, you know, this is my last point. You need a matches, a matchbox, and also candles. Guys, we live in South Africa. We're struggling with electricity. Some restaurants don't have generators. You don't want to find yourself not being able to see or finish up studying because you don't have candles and a lighter. Or a matches so please do make sure that you get yourself those on wednesday i'll be releasing a video about first year advice but it does not really apply to first years only so please do make sure that you click that notification button and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss the video thank you for watching till the end please do make sure that you subscribe i love you so much like please do comment if i left other things please do help you know other students know what to get when they go back to uni thank you so much for watching i love you so much please do make sure that you subscribe i know i'm saying this for the hundredth time please 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 60 percent of you are not subscribed i don't know why because it's free please do subscribe and click the like button can you please get this video to at least 30 likes please don't forget to stay kind and stick to god in everything you do i love you